Hey, welcome back. This video we're going to talk about customizing cameras. I think this was a request by Princess, but I might be wrong. If it was you, thank you. And if it was someone else, let me know and I will update the video description once I publish this to indicate who requested it. Thanks for the request regardless. So they wanted to know how to customize the camera that they use um, with the uh, streaming setup. Now I haven't gone over the um, streaming camera in much detail. There was a little bit in the part one where I showed you how to set up OBS, but I haven't gone over all the UI that's involved, so I will do that soon, but right now we're just going to cover customizing the camera. First of all, I want to indicate what I mean by that, and so to do that I need to show you behind the curtain, so to speak, because the camera which I use is actually currently pointing at me. The uh, camera you're watching this video on is the one that I have customized to suit my needs. There is a way I can show you this though, and that is by uh, turning on manual mode, and then turning the camera around and pointing it at a mirror. Uh, this is the best way I could think of it. So this is my custom camera here I've got set up, um, and you can see it's just a, a copy of my face but with red eyes. And I can point this around like a regular camera and hit trigger, and it will take a photo, which uh, quite unhandily spawns in the middle of the face kind of randomly, but you know, there you go. It still takes a photo like a normal camera. And whenever I open up the camera streaming um, UI, it will uh, work and uh, use that model. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do it. So uh, let's get that done. So I'm going to first of all hop back to Smooth POV and get rid of this mirror because we don't need it anymore. And then we'll start the process of customizing a camera. The easiest way to start this with is actually to start with an existing camera. So the existing one that I'm going to go for is the box standard Neos Essentials one. So I'm going to show you where to find that and how to spawn it. So let me turn on private UI. I'm going to go to my inventory. I'm going to go to Neos Essentials. And I'm going to just grab this camera and spawn it in the world. This camera's got a lot of features. It's very um, advanced in that. There's lots of cool sort of things going on here. And it's generally a good looking camera. So thanks to the Neos team for making it. But we're going to customize it now. And we're going to customize it in quite an arbitrary way. I don't have a uh, pre-baked model here provided or, or generated or indeed for this. So we're just going to use one of the models from Neos Essentials. But you could make your own camera model in, say, Blender and import it in and use it in the same way following this guide. So uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and inspect the camera. And I'll talk through some of the sort of hierarchical components of the camera. I'm just going to adjust one of my camera settings here a little bit. Uh, there we go. That should be a bit better. Yeah, there we go. So now we're going to point at, when you mess around with cameras, sometimes stuff goes wrong. These videos are always quite difficult, so uh, bear with me. So we're going to go ahead and inspect the camera. So I'm going to point my laser at the camera and hit secondary, and then hit open inspector. And then I'm going to hit the uh, big up arrow to go to the top, and we're at the top here. So you can see that this Neos camera 2.0 represents the entire camera. There's a lot going on here, a lot of settings, a lot of items, a lot of um, uh, complicated properties, etc. You don't really need to worry about them. Um, all we're going to do is replace the visual components of that. So if you look under visuals here, you'll see again a bunch of other displays. Um, for example here, display is the uh, display on the, uh, on the camera. So if I bring this close and I put my hand in front of it, you'll see what the camera's seeing. Um, things like Frustrum, Laser, etc. Those are all for um, other rent by parts of the camera. So Frustrum appears when you hit the Show Frustrum option on the camera, etc. What we need to replace is the mesh part of that. And we can see that by if we go to the uh, mesh slot, we expand it, you'll see Neos Camera Mark 3 dot blend. We can select that and hit the active property and you'll see it disappears. But the camera is still there and it still works. Uh, it's not working, I think, because I'm grabbing the screen rather than anything else. What we're going to do here is delete that blend file. And now we've got a base box standard camera that's got all of the parts that we can then position and, and, and move around. Uh, again, this is quite arbitrary and it won't cover advanced things like the physical buttons that appear on a camera. So the camera model I just deleted um, had a button on it that when you pushed it would uh, take a photo. That's just broken because I've deleted the uh, model. But that's okay because all I really use my custom camera for is um, the uh, camera streaming setup here that I use to record the video. And for that I just need it to be um, responsive to this UI and so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to now spawn a custom model hues for the camera. We're going to be quite arbitrary and we're just going to use the uh, one of the 3D models from Neos Essentials. So we're going to go into space and we're going to use um, Sputnik makes a noise. So we'll use Mercury. Do we have the moon? I like the moon. That's Pluto. Okay, fine. We'll use Mercury. So this is Mercury. 
big planet. And what we're going to do here is inspect Mercury. Go up to the top to make sure we're at the root of Mercury. And we're going to then drag the word Mercury into mesh, where it, uh, where it says mesh here. Close that because we're done. We're going to select Mercury over here and we're going to go reset position and rotation. Don't do scale though. And then we're going to remove the grabbable from it as well, which means that it won't be separatable from the camera. And now we have a camera which is in the shape of Mercury. A good thing to do when you've done this is to um, find that display object and move it so you can still see things. So I'm going to move it out of side of Mercury here and then rotate things around and make sure they're not clipping into the custom view of the camera here. So you can see I'm still able to see things. If I point them at the inspector here, I'm not seeing any of Mercury. I'm just seeing, you know, the inspector through Mercury. And I could say, you know, point this at my face and hit trigger. And it would take a photo of me as though it was a normal camera, but now it looks like Mercury. So now I could go ahead and rename this. And so we'll call this Mercury Camera. Oops, I uh, deselected. So Mercury Camera. And then I can go ahead and do the next part of it. And the next part of it is making sure it spawns when you hit the camera streaming option that renders this display. So to do that, what you need to do is save it to your inventory. So I'm going to go to the root of my inventory here and save my Mercury Camera. And then with my Mercury camera saved, I'm going to go over to where it is in my inventory here, select that, and then push the heart icon. And that will set it as my favorite camera. And that means it will be used whenever the camera streaming setup is used. So now I can close my UI and I can delete this Mercury camera because it's saved. And then what I usually do just to sort of reset the camera is I hit manual on the camera mode here, uh, which will put the camera in uh, the view. Trust me, I'm holding it and I will delete it. And then I'll close this just for a second. This is going to look weird. And then I go back to my home folder and I hit camera streaming. And then I hit third person again. And now we've got a Mercury camera um, that's hovering, uh, hovering in front of me, looking at me. To show you that that's happened, I'm going to go to the inventory and spawn in a mirror again. And I'm going to hit manual and then bring the camera in again here. So you can see there I am in the mirror, here's my Mercury camera, and it's it's all hooked up to the uh, camera control screen, the streaming camera. So you go, I just accidentally took two photos. You see that they both load in. And it also responds to the uh, controls down here. So I can go third person, and now I've got Mercury orbiting me. I can go to world, and it's move POV, and back to third person, etc. And everything works as per normal. So there you go, that's how to customize your camera. Like I said, you'll have more difficulty doing this if you want to preserve the um, physical tactile parts of the camera. For example, the UI on the back of it will still work, but the buttons on top won't because I've changed the mesh underneath it, and now it's just a big sort of orbiting planet. But it does let you customize the camera that follows you around when you're uh, you know, streaming on Twitch or whatever. I hope that helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments section, and I will see you next time.